This episode of Inside Gaming is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Go to everytwominutes.com to find out how to win one of thousands of Xbox One entertainment systems. Hey everyone, welcome to Inside Gaming Dev Thursday! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Right. Woo! Woo! Made it! oh, yes! Woo! And guess what? No news today! Nope. No, nope, but we've been playing the Battlefield 4 beta a lot. That's true, and we also got to play COD Ghost recently, too. Yeah, so we thought today, let's do a little thing called Call of Duty Ghost versus Battlefield 4. Who be the winner? Uh-oh, there's gonna be a lot of yelling in the comments. Basically, we decide, there's but then you get to yell at us. So first up, let's talk about the graphics, the most important thing about video games. <laughs> so Call of Duty, the graphics are getting a little outdated. They have been for a while, though with this new engine, they're looking better. Sure, but it's designed for 60 FPS on console, which means they're gonna have to cut serious corners, you know, yes. just, in, just in general. At the end of the day, there are promises towards that. So, yes. and Battlefield 4, on the other hand, is always pretty. It really is. It's gorgeous. There's lens flares even when you don't want them. Yep. They're just there. And this is consistently the best looking first person shooter basically of, on all platforms. It just always looks the best. I agree. Yes. On to Levolution, our favorite word, Levolution. Uh, hey, hey, Lawrence, why don't you take Levolution for COD? Okay, here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. In COD, you get logs that roll downhill. Sure. You get gas stations that blow up. Uh huh. You get pieces of rock that fall around. <laughs> you get Guys that die and disappear almost immediately. <laughs> That's not part of Levolution, Lawrence. Not at all. Nukes that drop nope. in the middle of the level. Still not the Levolution. Level. Talk about the logs again. Uh, the logs roll downhill <laughs> and kill people, maybe, <laughs> if they're standing in the way. Meanwhile, in Battlefield, Levolution is a bit more than just marketing speaks. It's actually yeah. a thing. It's yeah. pretty awesome when that huge building falls down and the whole world changes. It's so cool. It becomes foggier, it's harder to shoot. Right. And this is gonna play into other maps and it's actually kind of a fun addition to the series. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to arguably the more important part of all video games. I don't know about that. The gameplay. Oh. So first of all, there's COD. More arcade style gameplay, the kill streaks, the explosions. And the dogs. Yeah, the, the riffing dogs. guitar every the time you walk down the street. Uh, it, there's, it's just dumb fun. You can pick it up for 10 minutes and go on with your Extreme Doritos and Mountain Dew lifestyle. You can eat all those things and play the game at the same time. Right, uh, but at the end of the day, it is one dimensional. Yep. You know exactly what you're getting and it hasn't changed because apparently they perfected it. That's how they feel. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is close to perfection if that's what you want. 30 million sales a year, you can't be wrong. It's a sport now. It sure is. Call of Duty is a sport. And on to Battlefield 4, it is much harder to learn. The learning curve is way higher. You can't be a jackass running around and uh, help out your team. Classes can be confusing. Suppression plays a factor into aim, which is kind of strange. Bullet drop is a factor when shooting from afar. Vehicles can be impossible to maneuver, like the helicopters mm. and the tanks and stuff like that. A lot of people have a lot of trouble with that. The trade-off with the steeper learning curve, yes. though, is that you get more of these crazy moments. You get planes that are crashing into tanks, jeeps ramping off of hills and crashing into buildings. Yeah. Basically, everything's crashing, exploding it's for some so reason. So cool, but it's all but they're all player controlled and it's all happening in real yeah. time, which is which is amazing. And you have those unique moments, like just loading C4 onto a bulldozer and ramming into the building, and all your friends just laughing and running around because you're soldier mans. And, and Lawrence, this it's 64 player maps, right? Not the 32. Yeah, you get. 64 players and you get these crazy moments like in the in the beta map you can face jump from one building to another to kind of hop your way down to either find a good sniping position or just drop on top of annoying and annoying battlefield wins the battlefield wins yeah. Yeah, you've got those again we've got squads on top of buildings so flaming tanks and then the helicopter has to come and shoot the squad out and the tanks are shooting it's amazing it's awesome it's so cool but you need to rely on your squad and people who actually know what they're doing yes. otherwise it becomes a shit show and the game actually doesn't become that much fun and uh, cod has tried to perfect that actually with their AI with their squads they have the yeah. AI group that you can actually pit against other people's AI groups and then you, you put your robots against you. just take humans out of it we can just play with robots now <laughs> they're so much better and they don't call me a homosexual but then but then in Battlefield 4 you have to rely on every single dude in your squad in order for the game to be fun online you need people who know what they're doing right otherwise you're just gonna be playing deathmatch games and that's not really the core of the game no it really is now let's move over to what is arguably the most important thing on this list Esports! <laughs> uh, for COD, of course, there's rotating seasons. It's going to add a lot of replayability, a lot, tons of support. Call of Duty Championship financed by Activision. It's just taken more seriously by all the pro, no scope, MLG, dubstep montage kits. 360 no scope really yeah. helps me out, like and favorite, subscribe, all that fun. Go to hell. Yeah. Battlefield 4, on the other hand, uh, barely has any support outside of the community that actually plays it. Correct. There's a new spectator mode, though, that is very promising. Sure, sure. And with the team size, it might be a problem. Yeah, and again, it's eSports is not really necessarily a factor with Battlefield. DICE knows their audience, and they're making it for them, which is a huge reason why I appreciate the Battlefield franchise, because they know what I want. On the second screen support, COD will allow you to do a bunch of little things outside the game, of course, like managing your loadouts, check out stats, customize a bunch of stuff, and their little app. Mm -hmm. Battlefield 4 has exactly the same thing. Pretty much. But of course, 
course, there is commander mode. And this that's is the big factor yes. right here. Yes, you can actually send orders from a tablet or another screen. You can also just do this from your computer, yep. whatever you want to do. Yep. But it adds a level of strategy that basically Call of Duty cannot touch. Nope, doesn't exist. No, and you can drop crates now. Yep. And, and you, you can fall on people, and then you can change your class uh, on the crate. Lawrence, can you drop missiles? You can drop everything. Can you drop, you drop other? Space. Can it rain men? Drop knowledge. Can it drop other men? I need more men. Let's move on to arguably the most important part of this list. What do you think? This actually probably is the most important. Idea. Is COD, Ghosts, or Battlefield 4 going to win your heart? Are you going to buy both? Are you going to buy only one? What's going to happen this holiday season? So yes, which army mans will you shoot? <laughs> In which field of battle? All of them. It's just the same game, whatever. <laughs> That's going to get him mad. It's on, it's on eBay right now. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of no one's going to buy your stupid no, yeah, no car. No one's going to buy your car, Lawrence. We got we got the Indiegogo in. I'm working a 10 year older version of my car for $3,000. I'm not sure. But your car's totally busted, bro. Yeah. It runs. It, it's a no, working car. No, but the, picture, is so fresh. the picture you sent us, it looks like a total joke. So thing. I had to install a button that would short between the battery and the starter motor to get the damn thing to start sometimes. You want money for this thing? <laughs>